Club Express Emailings Administration. Club Express provides powerful tools that allow administrators to communicate with members and non members via email. This video focuses on how to set up and configure the emailing module. Another video shows how to create the emailings that are sent to your members and non members. When logged in as an administrator or emailing module coordinator, we start at the Control Panel's Communications tab and click on Emailings. This screen lists emails previously created. Each email is shown with the subject, sender and recipient information, as well as the status. The status for each item can be draft created on a date, meaning it has not yet been sent, queued for immediate delivery, scheduled to be sent on a particular date, or sent on a date. You can filter the list by date range, subject, category, and optionally include archived emails. Click search to show a list of the matching emails. Note that subgroup administrators will only see their own emails and those created by other administrators in the same subgroup. The Maintain column has several icons for each mailing. The Edit icon allows you to modify this email. If the email has not been sent, clicking this icon leads to the editor and a full set of options. If the email has been sent, this option only allows you to change the email's category. Select the results icon to display the results of the email, including the number attempted, number delivered, and various failure statistics. Click the copy icon to make a copy of an emailing. The view icon allows you to view the email as a web page. This option is also available by pressing the preview button while editing the email itself. The reports icon displays the standard reports dialog with reports showing who received each email and who did not because of a bad email address. The archive icon archives an emailing. It's still in the system, but it is not displayed in the list unless the include archived emailing box is checked. For an emailing that's already archived, the option will say unarchive, which reverses the operation. Use the delete icon to completely remove an email from the list. This option should be used with caution since the deleted emailing cannot be recovered and you lose the audit trail of what has been sent. Clicking the Configure button displays a drop-down menu with several choices. Note that the Configure button is not available to subgroup administrators. These options can only be changed by full administrators or module coordinators. Emailing categories allow you to organize and filter different types of emailings in different ways. For example, event announcements, membership reminders, monthly blurbs from the president, committee updates, etc. Note that this is different from mailing list categories that can be applied to individual members and non-members. Select Configure Categories to see the standard Club Express category management screen. All options perform their expected functions. The Delete icon only appears for categories that have not been used. It might be appropriate to surface emails from one or more categories on a web page that's available to your members and or non-members. Some categories may be for internal use only, for example, board announcements. However, others can be shared with members or even the public, for example, a monthly note from the club's president, by letting those people view the emails on a web page. To make it easy to display the emailing page, put the emailing choice on your menu or submenu, and only those emails in categories that have the Allowed on View Emails page flag set will be visible. If your club or association has subgroups, you can create categories for use by subgroup administrators, allowing subgroup emailings to be organized into their own categories. You must create a category for each subgroup in order to be able to send emails to members and non-members of that subgroup. Club Express allows you to create email templates that can be used over and over again to ensure a consistent look and feel to your communications with members and non-members. When you select Configure Templates, you'll see the Templates Administration page. This screen includes system-level templates as well as templates that you've created yourself. System templates can be copied and modified by clicking the standard copy icon, 
you can also optionally hide them from the options configuration. Club specific templates can be edited, copied, and deleted using the standard edit, copy, and delete icons. Click the add template button to create a new template where you will specify the name, its type, either HTML or plain text, and the email body using the email systems editor. Another video called Club Express Emailing, Adding an Email demonstrates the various tools for creating content in an emailing and the same tools are used to create the template content. Once templates have been created, you can select from them whenever you create an email. Note that templates don't need to be complete emailings. They can be as simple as a single panel that you place at the bottom of every emailing, or as complex as multiple panels with a standard layout for a monthly newsletter, when you go in each month to adjust only the content. Emails can be sent to complex distribution lists. For example, you can send to all active members of a specified type, plus members of two specified committees, plus the following three individuals. You can also save these distribution lists for use at any time. Club Express will build the list dynamically when each mail is about to be sent, so it's always up to date. And the system will automatically remove duplicates so that each recipient only receives one email, even if he or she is in multiple parts of the distribution list. Note that distribution lists with multiple options are applied using OR conditions. That is, each option is added to the list. For example, if you select members in a specified city and enter Chicago, then specify members of a specified type and enter individual, you will be emailing everyone in Chicago as well as everyone who is an individual member. Select Configure Save Distribution Lists to create, view, and edit your saved list. Note that lists can also be created and saved when you're creating a new emailing. Click the Add Distribution List button to create a new list. Select an option from the To drop-down list. In some cases, a panel will appear underneath to configure some additional settings. For example, if you select members by selected type, you'll be asked to select one of your club's member types. Each time you make a selection from the drop-down list, click the Add button to add it to your distribution list. Let's look at the options in the To field. You may add any number of selections that are appropriate for your distribution list. You can send to active solo and primary members, all active members, which includes secondary and tertiary members, expired solo and primary members, all active and expired members, all open renewals. These are solo and primary members in the renewal cycle who have not yet renewed. This is useful for sending reminders. Other membership status values, where you will select one of frozen, pending, prospective, or trial. Members by selected type. Members based on join date, where you specify start and finish dates. Members of a selected interest group. Members of a selected committee. Members of a selected discussion forum members of a selected member subgroup, for example, chapter, district, or region. Users with a pending payment. This includes both members and non-members and is useful for sending a reminder to log in and complete the payment. All non-members, members and non-members in a selected mailing list category. Note that mailing list categories can be applied to members and non-members, and are configured via the Mailing List Categories link in the Setup section of the Control Panel's Communications tab. Members with a specific answer to a club's additional member data question. Members in a specified city, and this is for active members only. Members in a specified state, active members only. Members in a specified country, active members only. Members who have never logged in active members only, all administrators and coordinators. This is at the club level and excludes subgroups. All subgroup administrators, one member selected from the database 
including secondary and tertiary members, and one non-member selected from the database. Note that additional options may be added in the future. Also note that the emailings function is also available in the event calendar where several additional options are provided, such as the ability to email to everyone who has registered for an event. When you make a mistake, you can click the Remove icon to remove this option from your list. When you're done, specify the name for your list and click the Save button or click Cancel to close the dialog without saving. When back on the Distribution List main screen, you can click the Edit icon to modify an existing distribution list, or the Delete icon to remove a list. Now back to the Emailings Administration screen. Select Configure Options to customize defaults for how the Emailings function behaves. On this screen, you can specify the default email address and the name to be used as the sender. You can also specify whether you want to track who opens the email and whether to automatically include icons at the top of all new emails that show links to the club's social networking feeds and whether system templates should be shown or hidden by default. The emailings function also includes the option to view emailings online available to club members and optionally to non-members. From this screen, you can also show how many days back from the emailing should be shown on the screen. Click Save to save your changes and return to the main emailing screen or cancel to return without saving. To configure the default styles that will be applied to each emailing that you send out, select Configure Email Default Styles. Click the Drop-in Web Styles button to start the configuration process by using the same styles as your website. Click the down arrow to expand each category. Each category allows you to configure options that are appropriate to each style. For heading text, you configure each heading's font, text color, background color, text size, text style, text weight, and alignment. For backgrounds and borders, there are choices for background color, border color, and border weight. For body text, configure the font, text size, text color, line height, padding top, and padding bottom. For links, you can configure the font, link size, and link color. And for buttons, you configure the font, background color, text color, border color, font size, and whether it has rounded corners. The controls in each case are standard drop-down lists, or color pickers that generate a hex triplet or spinners. Note that only standard fonts are available in the font pickers. Custom fonts cannot be used because emails will be viewed through many different interfaces, such as Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook, etc., which do not support custom fonts. Click Save to save your choices and return to the emailing administration page or cancel to return without saving. Select Configure Custom CSS to override the built-in styles with your own code or to create custom styles that you can reference within your emails. An important note, this option is for experienced web developers only. Club Express cannot debug or customize custom CSS entries. Also, very elaborate CSS may be ignored by many popular email programs. On the left is the editor panel where you can enter any valid CSS. On the right is a listing of global email styles defined using the previous option. You can easily cut and paste from the right panel to the left. Click Reset CSS to clear any changes on the left and start over. Click Save to save your changes and return to the emailing administration screen or cancel to return without saving. So now you've seen the tools available for administering existing emailings and lists and also how to configure emailing defaults and custom styles. Watch the video titled Emailings, Add an Emailing, to learn how to create a new emailing. It covers the basic information for the emailing, the distribution list, and how to add content to the body of the email. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.